Hey everybody, welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today we're gonna to be doing some more max speeding rod modifications to our cars. We're gonna get these opened up. We have got a catch can system that we're gonna be putting on our 330CI race car. But before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can stay caught up on all of our modifications we do to the BMWs here on our channel. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports, where we do giveaways. You just have to be following us to be part of those giveaways. We're also doing an Instagram for our 330 swapped M3 shell. Right? That is Nikki underscore nightmare 46, where we just kind of do some uh, updates, posts, things that don't always get onto the channel here. And it's kind of behind the scenes stuff. So let's get this stuff unboxed. Again, this is from Max Peating Rods. Uh, we've been really happy with their stuff. We're gonna continue to use it and give honest reviews if we have any issues. I honestly haven't had any issues with their products. Now we do have a few pieces on this uh, black car that are untested because we haven't actually gotten them on the road. But until something major happens, so far everything's been uh, smooth sailing. All right, so here is two catch can systems. Now, let me lay out real quick what we're gonna be doing. 330CI needs a catch can system. The reason for that, uh, in, in my opinion, is that the CCV system is just not quite up to snuff with the kind of horsepower and some of the stuff we're doing to it. it it's perfectly, it runs perfectly fine with your OEM stock horsepower, maybe, you know, a small supercharger like we're doing on the black car. But when you're starting to run five, almost 500 horsepower crank, you're probably getting a little bit beyond what that stock system is designed to be able to handle. So I'm actually getting um, a lot of oil in my intake. And I know that having oil in your charge piping, even on like a OEM turbocharged car, isn't necessarily the end of the world. And I guess do, some people do have issues with that. Your intake system has just got like a little thin coat. And um, I don't think any of it's dripped down into the intake because it my vacuum comes right before the supercharger. The rest of the system is now pressurized, so it's no longer vacuum, but only a few systems need to have vacuum anymore to make this run. And so all of those are right before the supercharger and the supercharger itself and, a, and, and basically the intake pipe coming up to the superchargers all got oil in it. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking the CCV system and disconnecting it and then putting this in there. You can pull your CCV system out, and I probably will at some point, but I really don't want to pull the entire car apart to lose the CCV. So basically, we're going to be disconnecting everything, installing this, and the old parts, the old CCV system, will be just kind of hanging out in the engine bay until I get a chance to really tear into it. The other car is going to get one, and the other car is actually going to get it um, set up in a naturally aspirated way, and then we're going to supercharge that car. We are, like I said in previous videos, we are running that car naturally aspirator a little bit. I wanna see the power figures. I wanna get her used to the car a little bit before we go and add another 100 horsepower. So we're actually gonna do three different setups on this. We're gonna have one for my car. We're gonna have one for her naturally aspirated M54. These are all M54 B30 engines. And then the third one is going to be her car supercharged, which will be slightly different than mine. So yeah, there's, there's lots of videos coming up on these two items here. Um, I'm excited. So let's get this opened up the rest of the way and see what we've got. Okay, lots of parts. So uh, we have our lines here and here's the catch can itself. Pretty standard stuff, nothing too crazy. I believe this should be the filter for it. Here is the filter for the catch can. So it sits on there like that and then we have, I believe this is the bleeder. Yeah, this, this bleeds it. So at some point, this will fill up with oil. This does not recycle. It's gonna go into here, it's gonna stay in here, and so I'll just have to keep an eye on the oil levels. It shouldn't be an abnormal amount of oil consumption, even though it's not getting fed back into the motor, but I, I will keep an eye on it. Um, when you're doing something like this, it's, it's very much a, Every time you go to drive your car, you're doing pre-flight checks, basically. You go and check all your fluids, make sure everything's still tight. So I'll get all this out of the box so we're not making a bunch of noise while I'm talking. So I believe this system is AN10. It's kind of what it's looking like. And they give you quite a few different um, pieces here. So depending on if you need a 90 degree, this looks like a 45 and then just a straight out. So let's see, yeah, 
Here we go, pretty excited about it. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about space in the engine bay. I know it was hard to find space for the fuel pressure regulator on the other car, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can put this in a spot, mostly in a spot that I can get it this easily. Because uh, if you can't get it your drain, then you're gonna have to pull the system out and drain it. Um, but if I can get this in a place where I can drain it and maybe have just a, a catch pan on the bottom or something, that'd be fantastic. Now this whole kit right here goes for about $100 on max peating rods or so, but if you use the links in the description below follow those instructions, you can get a discount on your purchase using those links. And I really believe that when you're buying this kind of stuff on a budget, max peating rods should be your first place you go look before Amazon, before eBay, before any other really expensive manufacturer go check Max Peating Rods first. They have excellent customer service, they have excellent returns if anything has any issues, and that's why we just keep going back to them over and over again. I'm very excited to get this in here. Um, I'm debating whether or not to do it today. Um, unfortunately, this is where this video is going to end. Just doing an unboxing on this one, a quick uh, overview, review on it, and our next follow-up video will be installing these into one of the cars. Pretty sure we're gonna be doing this car first. This is the one that needs it the most. The other car, I had just put a brand new CCV system in it. So this goes to show you how excited I am for a system like this. I just spent money putting a CCV system in that car while the engine was out, and I'm about ready to just make that system not even work. So I'm very excited for it. Thanks for watching. Use the links in the description below. Like I said, Max Peeding Rods is my first stop for bargain parts. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see everybody in the next video.